Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Danny. I own an online fashion resale business by the name of Thrift Fish, and I am back with you today with a Bolo brand video. If you are new here, I put out videos about my reselling business. I am a full-time fashion reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And if you don't know, the term Bolo refers to the phrase, be on the lookout. So I'm going to review a few brands with you that sold well for me or things that I've found that have turned out to be surprising or things I didn't know. Um, just brands that I thought would be useful to share with you. Of course, there are many other elements uh, that can be involved when you are sourcing for secondhand clothing um, to sell on the internet, not just brand, uh, style, quality, price, um, yeah, the, the condition of the item. However, it is my belief that when you start to learn the qualities and what makes up uh, these higher quality Bolo brands, you can start to figure out clues from these brands to then be able to take that knowledge and go to the thrift store or go to the buy sell trade store or whatever and find new brands that maybe have similar qualities that way you can take the knowledge from the brands that have been shared and find new brands that are similar so a lot of these brands are things that i didn't know about previously and then maybe i found them in the thrift store and looked them up and then found out that they were selling well um that is often how i find new brands basically if you know what goes into a good quality product you can find more of the same so the first brand that i'm going to go over with you is roback uh, r-h-o-b-a-c-k uh, I found this item in the men's section. It was a men's t-shirt. Um, this was an item where I did not know the brand, but just from certain clues of how the item was made, I did look it up and find out that it was something I did want to take home with me to resell. This brand gets its name from the dog, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, bred in Africa to hunt lions, apparently. Uh, this is my research that I've done on this brand. So the Ridgeback perpetually craves activity and has an unmistakable ridge that runs down its back. Um, so this clothing is made for being active. Um, so, you know, somebody who perpetually craves being active, like the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Uh, and to my knowledge, all their shirts have like a small like tab on the back that kind of looks like a small ridge. Uh, so I think that's like a signature thing that they do. Their logo is also a dog. I will go ahead and show examples on here. Uh, I sold one item. I listed it for 65, but it sold, I believe same day, or if not very soon after for 45. So I was happy with that and uh, found that this was a pretty desirable brand to pick up in the future. So I have not found it again, but if I do, I'll definitely be picking it up. Next brand, this is more of a concept um, brand. Uh, I want to talk about Goop, which is Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle blog, but now it's kind of like her empire. Uh, you know, it's there's everything Gwyneth Paltrow on there, uh, but her custom G label, the Goop label, um, that I'll go ahead and show. I found two, found and sold um, two such items so far. One was like a college sweater, uh, sweatshirt, uh, and the other was actually a collaboration with Frame. They are a pair of jeans, like a super high-rise flare. Um, have both did really well. I would highly recommend if you see this label, and it's kind of you know, you might not. If you just see the G, you might not think. You might be like, "What is this? I I don't know what this is," and pass it by. But uh, the sweatshirt said Goop on it, and I think the Frame jeans also had it spelled out but um with the sweatshirt I wasn't quite sure if it was actually like Gwyneth Goop uh but I did look it up and lo and behold uh these items do very well um they also sell a number of other higher end brands on their site but they have their own label as well so keep your eye out for those as well next up is a sleepwear brand you may have heard of it but I just love it so much it is Lunia um Lunia is based on a concept called Odium or Leisure Time, basically just like your lounge, your free time. Uh, it is a female founded brand. They want quality time spent in exceptionally crafted and trustworthy products. Everything's like super soft, like silky, and I think a lot of it's like washable silk. Um, 
The mission was to create quality and flattering sleep slash loungewear, and they have done just that. So really nice, very simple, beautiful sleep and lounge basics. Okay, next up is uh, not just a men's brand, but they do, I think maybe it originally focused on menswear. Uh, it's called Faherty, F-A-H-E-R-T-Y. Uh, this brand was created by twin brothers, Mike and Alex Faherty. Uh, it's American clothing and lifestyle brand about the beach created by these twin brothers. The aesthetic has been described as surf hippie by the New York Times. So it's a family run business. Uh, I'm just reading some information from the website. So if I sound, sounds canned, it is. Uh, Fairy is a family run business fueled by purpose and optimism. Our goal to build a new American legacy by creating high quality, suitably, mi so, sorry, suitably, sustainably minded feel good favorites that will bring you joy to wear. Uh, and they sell, sell well on the resale market. <laughs> so uh, I found this brand a couple times in the thrift, um, liquidation, buy, sell, trade. Uh, I love to pick it up and I love to flip it. So keep your eye out for that one. I have enjoyed flipping many of those items. The next item or the next brand is typically a hat brand. Uh, and the hat brand is Helen Kaminsky. I have sold a couple of her visors now. They are incredibly good selling hats uh, and visors. So definitely keep your eye out for this name. Uh, so in 1983, Helen Marie Kaminsky handcrafted a raffia hat to protect her children from the searing Australia sun. Apparently she left one of her hats at a shop uh, and it sold before she even was able to get back home. Uh, soon after, her distinctive design was coveted by the country's small boutiques and then fashion insiders. So she started to make these hats, these visors. She's using, you know, fine, natural, sustainably sourced materials. These usually a raffia material. They are very beautiful. And finally, the last brand I'm going to share with you is actually a brand that I have not found and sold but my friend Ashley has recently found and sold and I asked her if I could go ahead and highlight this brand on my Bolo video because I just think it's a super fun brand and it is on my list of things that I'd like to find. Um, she recently found a pair of shoes at the Goodwill uh, and sold them for a very nice price. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the brand. It is Simon Miller and this brand is funky. Uh, let me just go ahead, I have some information, you know, some more canned info is a playful world of luxury where fashion meets lifestyle. That's a, you know, that's kind of like the, every, I think all of these have them fashion and lifestyle. Uh, we're inspired by mid-century mod environments, bold graphics, cinema, classic cars, mod furniture, quality, and so much more. And basically bold, colorful, bright, um, especially with the season that we're in with the trends, you know, their colors are right along with the trends that we're seeing. I was watching Jack and Ryan's trend report and they're showing this big bold green and Ashley sold these big bold green platform shoes that I will show on the screen. So I just, I just had to highlight it and I was excited to share that and hopefully by me talking about a lot, I will manifest finding this brand for myself. Uh, but Simon Miller, super fun. Definitely uh, keep your eye out for that one as well. Uh, you know, keep your eye out for all of them. That's the point. But uh, things like this, if you can take the cues of the, you know, these big, bold, funky colors, the way things are made, these class quality materials, a lot of it has to do with feeling an item, seeing these little signature things like the little ridge on the back of a shirt, just Keeping your eye out for little distinct qualities like that is gonna help you find these higher quality brands without even knowing that they exist. Uh, so that's why I like to highlight these things. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it the thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. But I will be back soon with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you again real soon.